The first time I saw Mr. Ong uh, was in Parliament in 1967. I worked as a part-time uh, interpreter in Parliament. And when I started working there, then he was then a minister, I think in the Education Ministry, and later on in the Labour Ministry, and finally the Environment Ministry. So and I found Mr. Ong was a very careful and a deliberate speaker. Uh, his pace was slow, but it was very clear. Every word, every syllable was easy to follow. I got into Parliament, it was uh, at, uh, at uh, Bukit Panjang. And when uh, I was assigned to the place and started work, uh, Pang Boon was assigned to guide me. There was uh, yellow culture, anti yellow culture debate, uh, in which all of us were involved. Uh, so we were part of the argument you know, on how to, how to deal with this yellow culture business. That experience was new to us. And also in the early days, we know uh, gangsterism. Uh, was rife in Singapore in the 50s and 60s and as Minister of Home Affairs I think he had to uh, ensure that uh, law and order prevail in Singapore and because of his uh, stewardship of home affairs I think gradually uh, we eradicated the problem of uh, gangsterism in Singapore. That's why today Singapore enjoys uh, the reputation of being one of the safest cities in the world. When he was a minister for education, he was one of the major uh, advocates for bilingualism in Singapore. So I think Mr. Ong and the first generation leaders recognized very early that it's important to ensure that we are able to train our Singaporeans to cope with the future. and. Uh, decided on the course of bilingualism. I think that built the foundation of future generations of Singaporeans, including today, who are able to cope uh, with the world uh, where English is the uh, dominant uh, language of commerce, diplomacy, international relations. At the same time, uh, through the study of mother tongues, we preserve our respective um, tradition uh, values and culture and therefore giving us a strong sense of who we are. Although he is a soft-spoken person but I think when necessary he could take a very stern and effective action. I depended a lot on him on uh, party branch work you know because all our cadres were Chinese-speaking cadres. So I will go to Pangbun and say, well, look, uh, help out, you know. So he'll straight away, you know, he comes to party branch, you know, and uh, meet up with the cadres in Lakansi. And... I know Mr. Ong more than 50 years. Mr. Ong Pangbun is a very kind and gentle person. He's well respected by the local grassroots people. He got very good, kind heart to help people. For the last 50 years, I saw him I didn't see him any angry. He he's very gentle. 当我接近王邦文先生的时候呢，他是当教育部长，每个星期三都在支部接见民众。他都是很耐心的去听居民的投诉，他也用用很和蔼的态度来对待。I'm very close to him. He always try his best. He take care of all the parties. Comrade member, he's a, he's a person can unite people. When I meet some residents, when I talk to them, everyone is in the My uncle to me is uh, um, quite a private person. He's a man of very few words. Um, but what I always remember remembered when he actually make responses or he discuss about something, he deliberates about it and give very considered responses because usually apart from telling you the answer, he also justifies and tell you the reasons around other perspectives that he thinks of. I think if you look at all our pioneer generation, our founding fathers, they all give us 
a lot of values to uphold integrity in all that we do. The other aspect of it is also be truthful to the people and respectful to the ones that we're working for. After all, it is the country that we value and I think this is something that all the young generation should remember. Mr. Ong, happy 90th birthday. Fulu Tonghai, Shobi Nansan. Tian Tian Kai Sing, Tian Tian Jian Kang. Happy birthday to Kong Kong Bang Bun. We wish you all the best, healthy and long life. Happy birthday and wish you all the very best. Wa Yi Zhu Wang Bang Wen Xian Shen, Shen Ri Kai Le, Shobi Nansan, Fulu Tonghai. I hope you continue to enjoy all your makan sessions with your friends, take the holidays that you loved, and continue to stay healthy and happy always. Happy birthday.